Hello and welcome back to this MicroFocus ZenWorks Service Desk video tutorial two-part series discussing how to migrate to the latest version of Service Desk. Part 1 covered the specific details and visual tables to assist you in your migration. This is Part 2 which covers the upgrade demonstration. It will give you a visual on the processes in action to migrate from version 703 standalone to the version 7.5 appliance with an external database. If you're on version other than 703 or already on an appliance, this video will still be valuable displaying the processes needed to successfully upgrade to the latest version of MicroFocus Service Desk. Overview Part 2. This is a separate video demonstrating the migration from version 703 installed on a standalone OS with an external database to the version 7.5 appliance retaining the same external database. Through this video demonstration, you will visually see how the different steps of the upgrade should be performed. If you haven't seen Part 1, be sure to view that. It provides detailed answers and references to many questions regarding the migration process to MicroFocus Service Desk version 7.5. You can quickly find the reference link to the videos and others in the Service Desk Cookbook TID 7021-281. Now let's display the migration going from version 703 on Windows with external database to a version 7.5 appliance using the same external database. This slide shows a process we'll display in the video presentation starting with version 7.03 server having an external database, LDAP directories configured with customized banners and external certificates. This server has DNS settings and IP address of 192.168.1.201. We have backed up the appropriate systems database and will back up the customized files. We'll then stop the live time service prior to the start of the upgrade process so admin, users, or customers cannot interfere with the upgrade. Power up and configure the version 7.2 appliance configuring with static IP on the same subnet as the version 703 server. Then start the migration by copying over the lifetime folder. Doing so will prevent the loss of attachments, customized strings and banners, and indexing. Then complete the migration. Then power up and configure the version 7.4 appliance configuring with another static IP on the same subnet as the version 7.2 server. Then complete the migration to version 7.4. Finally, powering down the version 703 server before powering up the version 7.5 appliance so we can configure the original settings of Service Desk DNS name and IP addresses to the version 7.5 appliance. We're going to add the VA storage volume to version 7.5 appliance and power the version 7.5 appliance up. Configuring again with that static IP of the original 703 server to complete the migration. Once complete and the system communication is functional, decommission all previous Service Desk servers. Modify the files that have been customized for settings in Tomcat, Java, etc. Restore the banner images and this should conclude the migration itself. Now configure the new Service Desk version 7.5 features that your organization will use like ZenWorks imports, stores, users group, etc. Let's have a quick walkthrough of our system in our attached systems. You can see that we have some customers and some users. You can see that our licenses is an ITIL version because we have more than just the incident reporting here. Also the database is on an MSSQL server with two LDAP connections. That's not valid for the standard edition. The standard edition only allows one but the ITIL version allows for multiple LDAP configurations. And we can see that we have Amy configured and we have ZenWorks OpenID configured. And if we look at the user, we can see that there's some tickets in here. We have a knowledge, knowledge base ticket. We have SLAs active in here. And then if we go over to the customer, we can see the customer portal. Has one ticket for him as well. So let's go ahead and look at our other systems. We have the MSSQL, 
version 7.03 on a Windows 2008. We have our e-directory groups for service desk. We have our active directory groups for service desk. And we have our zone with the service desk registration. Then we also have a 7.2 a 7.4 and a 7.5 to save time. So first what we want to do is we want to back up some of these files. Let's go ahead and log out. We have a backup MIG out on a server. I've also made backup screenshots of all the critical information and configurations in the service desk admin console. So we have the email, we have the licensing and the database, LDAP and e-directory for AD and eater. We got our Amy setup as well as our Zenwork setup. And then on the eater group side and the Active Directory side as well as the zone. This will be good for our corporate documentation. Okay, let's open up another and do some backups. As we mentioned, going from a server OS installed service desk to an appliance, we need to save the live time folder. We also want to go into server conf and save our server XML and web XML. We'll go into web apps, live time, web inf, live time WOA, contents, resources. We can save our login properties if we wish to, in case there's any things set in debug. And then if we go into images, custom banners, as well as any CSS files that might have been modified. That should take care of our backups. And we are ready to go for doing the migration. First, we'll go ahead and Turn off the lifetime services. Leaving the database on. And we will power up our 7.2 appliance. Again, this is just a pass through. So we just need some temporary IP addresses and just to get us to 7.2, to get us to 7.4, and again to 7.5. Go ahead and agree to the license agreement and the EULA. We'll select English and we'll do our keyboard English. Host name we really don't care too much about. We're going to take the change host name off. We will then change the configuration, edit, and give it an IP address. We'll use this one as 7.2. And we'll just call hostname SD72. And we'll need to fill in in case it's looking for any DNS. Which isn't quite as important as the routing is. Select OK. Next, then we have our time zone.
You'll notice that it started at Postgres SQL because all appliances have their internal database. We'll go ahead and disconnect from that database it attached to the external database in order to upgrade the schema on the external database. Now we have our appliance up for version 7.2. We'll go ahead and change the root password so we can win SCP to it to copy that live time folder. Check our firewall. Let's go to win SCP. You can see here. Back up big. Lifetime folder. Let's upload to Lifetime. Very good. Now let's return. Go to Microfocus Service Desk. Three to switch to another database. Press any key to continue. Return. Return. Upgrade. Import. Now let's go to 192.168.1.72 and we'll edit this to go to 230. SA database will test it. Successfully connected. Let's go into advanced. And we'll select upgrade. asking to make sure that we have your system backed up. Successfully upgraded. This should open up our console and we can see the difference in the console itself. Notice there's no banners. We are now on 7.2. Let's go ahead and log in as admin. Our users are there and customers are there. Set up. You can see our database successfully upgraded. LDAP, digital layer. Should be able to test that. So LDAPs are fine. And our AME is still configured. And now we have a Zenworks import. We won't configure the Zenworks import until we get to 7.5. No sense configuring it now when there's more options coming up in 7.5. Go ahead and log out. Minimize this. We'll now do the same thing for version 7.4. We're going to go to Application Services. Stop Application Services. Then let's go ahead and go to our 7.4 appliance and fire it up. Since now we're going appliance to appliance, we don't have to worry about the lifetime folder. The appliance migration will take care of that. And agree to the licensing agreement. And the EULA, and we'll select English for our keyboard and language. Let's 
TSD-74. We don't need to worry about the host name just yet. We will run the network setup. We'll edit and give it a static IP. Next, host name not so important. We'll go ahead and put in a name server here. What's most important is the routing. In our time zone. Our 74 is up. We can then go in our new password, or root password, which was new in 74, to be able to do it at this point. Return. We'll go to Microfocus Service Desk. Now we have to pa type in the password before moving forward. We're going to migrate, upgrade, import content from another appliance. That IP address is the 72 appliance. And that's version 7.2. Type in the database password of the source appliance. Return. Return. Now if we open up a browser, go to 7.4, we then designate our SQL server, 2.30, database name, service desk, SA, test, successfully upgraded. This should open up the console for 7.4. Log in as admin. We should be able to see that we're on version 7.4. We can actually turn off the original 7.03 server with that IP address of 192.168.1.201. Execute. You can see we're now on 7.4. You can see if our LDAP is working. Working just fine. Zenworks and Amy are both configured. We still have users and customers. even see that we're supposed to be using custom but we haven't imported the graphics yet. Let's log out. Do this one more time with 7.5. 7 7.2 plants. We can return. Since we've upgraded it, we can actually turn off the appliance. On 4, we're going to turn off services. 2, 1, 1, completed. Press any key. Now we're going to go over to 7.5, add a volume, which is our VA storage. New virtual disk. 
at least 40 gigabytes. Call this VA storage. Now we can power it up. And again, we'll go through the install process for version 7.5. 7.5 will ask us for an SD admin password, which is basically the administration console for version 7.5 is similar to the blue screen console on the earlier version appliances. So this will be the administrator login or the service desk administrator login to the administration console so that we can manage the OS and the service desk appliance. Go ahead and accept the EULA root password, SD password, US, Mountain, next, name, the previous name was service desk dot digital airlines.com we'll give it a static IP 192.168.1.201 subnet 11 we can put in our additional DNS servers here any other configurations that we had on the original we can put in It recognizes our 40 gig additional drive. We'll go ahead and select the file system type you want. I'll leave it on default. Service desk login. You can see the HTTPS port 9443 for the administration console. We'll go ahead and go there now. This is the SD admin. And here's our new console, which uses the common appliance framework. So you can configure your ganglia and watch your ganglia monitor in here, your network, your time, digital certificates can be added here, storage, system services, firewall, online update channel, service desk configuration stuff is down here. We're going to go to migration because we're going to migrate from the 7.4. We select migrate. You can see migration in progress. Migration complete. We should now be able to go to the Surface Desk, which will open up another browser. Once again, it'll ask us for the database server. Test. Successfully connected. Advanced. We're going to do an upgrade. It prompts you to make sure you're backed up. And we'll select upgrade. Now close. We can log in. We'll log in as a a normal admin. You can see the new quick request tab. Go to setup. LDAP. Tests out.
this out. See, we have the Amy configuration. We now can configure more of the Zenworks import if we wanted to. Our licenses are here. We're on version 7.5. If we go over to our database, we execute. We can see we're on version 7.5. Let's go ahead and log into 201. We did some custom banners, so we'll go ahead and add in our banners. We didn't have any other changes from any of the other property files, so we're good there. Minimize. Notice our banner came back. And our banners are here. See our customer portal is a little bit different. Requests, service requests. If I go to the user portal, it looks a little bit different. But everything still exists. If I go to database, you'll have this message until it's rebooted. In order to reboot, we can go over to our admin console and we can restart services. Wait for it to come back up. There we go. You can see all the settings are here now. Then you want to take screenshots of these again if they've changed. And then any additional. You can now configure the Zenworks import by bringing that in. Any SSO or password self-service that you might have configured. Make sure all those settings are working for you. Test your email. But otherwise you're now at version 7.5 and at the latest and can configure those new features that you're looking for. In summary for part 2 we did the upgrade demonstration and we hope that this video demonstration displaying the processes of migrating to version 7.5 was helpful. If you haven't viewed part 1 be sure to watch. It will provide other detailed answers and references to many questions regarding the migration process to version 7.5. Remember you can find these and other service desk related videos on the Microfocus YouTube channel with reference links on the service desk version 7 cookbook TID 7021281. We hope this two-part demonstration clears up some questions and gives a visual of what you can expect when upgrading to Microfocus service desk. This concludes this two-part series support and training video on the migration of Microfocus Service Desk to version 7.5.